tonight I'd like to look at a Linux tool, mm -hmm. which if you're new to Linux, if you've never used Linux, or if you're just considering it, or you're not too sure what it can do for you, Linux is a different operating system. It's something alternative to Mac OS or Windows, uh, which you can install on your PC hardware, is, uh, you know, to put it at its most simplest form. You can download it, it's free. That's one of the advantages, but it's got a ton of free software available for it. And what's cool about Linux is that you can now, over the you know, with with uh, the progression of Linux over the past several years, there's always been this tool called Wine. It's a Windows API layer that you can add to Linux. And with that application, with the progress of that application over the past several years, we've seen it come from something that could possibly run your Windows programs to something that runs a lot of Windows programs very, very well. Head on over to winehq.com to find out what applications are indeed compatible with Wine. And once you've got Linux installed, you can actually uh, grab a Windows program. I'm going to use WinApp as an example. It's a media player that's popular on the Windows platform. If I go free download from winapp.com, you'll see something here. It's available in multiple languages, but it's only available on Microsoft Windows. Well, that's a problem for us because we're on Linux. Mm -hmm. Is it really a problem for us? No, because I've installed what's called Wine. You'll find it in your repositories. W-I-N-E, just like the beverage. And th what it does, again, is it gives us the ability to run several Windows programs on your Linux machine. Very cool. I'm just downloading uh, that file. 15 megs. So then this is kind of a, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but like a solution opposed to partitioning your hard drive. Oh, yeah. And having Windows installed on part of it. Yeah, definitely. This allows you to have... Um, Windows programs running natively into Linux. That's kind of cool. Right. Yeah. So it's really neat. It, it's different than virtualization. It's different than dual booting. Mm -hmm. Virtualization, you have to actually bring up a Windows machine in order to run the Windows application. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas with this, you're actually literally able to run that application. So I've downloaded the program. So it's now uh, available to me. I've got the executable. You'll see that this is indeed WinApp. Dot exe. That's a Windows executable. On Linux now that I've got, because I've got Wine installed, I can right click on that and go properties. Remember, this is a Windows executable. I'm going to go permissions and then allow executing file as program. And check that off. I'm going to close that window. And now all I have to do, just like as if I was sitting on a Windows computer right this very moment, and here I am in Linux, remember that this is indeed Linux, right? You can tell by the warbliness. Mm -hmm. I'm going to double click on that file. What does it look like? It looks just like a Windows installer. I'm going to hit OK. Welcome to the WinApp installer. Next. End user license agreement comes up just as normal. Of course, you've read that and you're going to agree with it. Otherwise, you can't install. Install to where? C colon slash program files slash WinApp. Well, we don't have a C drive. We're on Linux. That's okay. It's going to mimic that behavior for you. What do we want to do? We'll install the light, light version just to make it quick. Next, WinApp, what do you want to do? Won't install it on quick launch. We will create a desktop icon and a start menu entry. What extras do you want? None of these. Don't need any malware or extra stuff. Not that they would distribute such a thing, but... Okay, all this stuff, it's their way. You know, if you, if you want it, read it, support them. It's a free software. They include those things because that's how they pay for their software. So, oh, what's this? It's done. Launch WinApp after the installer closes. Hit Finish. And you see, okay, I've got my settings. Next, whatever, Finish. And uh, lo and behold, there's WinApp. A Windows-only multimedia player, which is an executable program. It's an EXE, but it's now running natively within Linux, thanks to Wine. Neat. So cool. very cool stuff. Again, mm -hmm. you can get Wine. If, it, if it's not actually included with your operating system, uh, with your distribution of Linux, you can get it from any repository, go into Synaptic Package Manager, go into whatever you use, and install WINE. And that's going to give you the ability to run those Windows programs just like I just did. 
winehq.org. Once again, that's the website where you can you know, punch in your application and see, does it work with Wine? Can you run it natively in Linux without having to have virtualization?